Hello, I'm Mr. Weekman. Welcome to the history of t-shirts. Now, as you may have guessed, it's called a t-shirt because of the shape. If you put your hands out, it kind of looks like the letter T. In the 1920s, t-shirts became a pop an official word in the United States. In World War I, soldiers noticed this nice cotton light shirt that seemed a lot cooler and more breathable than the shirts that they were currently wearing, which were made of wool. These shirts became official parts of the American soldier's uniform, and they were adopted into the general public as underwear. People would not be seen outside of their house wearing their t-shirt. Then in the 60s, actors like James Dean became rebels and would wear their undershirt outside and just wear it as a normal t-shirt. This became kind of revolutionary and a status symbol for rebellion. So you'd see teens and people that were part of this counterculture wearing their t-shirt out into public. At first, t-shirts were basically simple. No text, no screen printing, just simple t-shirts, just a plain color. And then in the late 60s to early 70s, people started to tie-dye their shirts to make them bright and colorful, and that was kind of part of the hippie movement. And also, people started using screen printing to make t-shirts that people would want to buy. This screen printing changed the way t-shirts were looked at. No longer were they just simple things that you can wear, they were a status symbol. You could say something with the saying on your shirt. The shirt became a part of your style. Everyone became a designer by the choices that they made in the t-shirts that they bought. Now this really changed the industry and it created this whole new business of screen printing and t-shirt design. There's so many cool ways that companies use t-shirts to promote their items. Think about when you go to a location. What's the biggest thing that people want to buy at that location? It's a t-shirt to say, hey, I win here. This is something that I have experienced. Tourism completely changed because of t-shirts. People were proud of what they had done and where they had gone and they were displaying it on their bodies. People even went as far as to kind of display sayings on their shirt that represented who they were. This is a whole new idea that was introduced in the simple creation of these t-shirts. And it's just fun to think about how it's such a, a custom thing. We don't feel like we have, are too exposed if we're wearing a t-shirt. We feel most comfortable in t-shirts. If there's, there's no one really that doesn't own a t-shirt, I mean, that's kind of the simplest part of your wardrobe that almost everyone owns and almost everyone has all these different colored varieties. Now, I hope you've learned a good amount about t-shirts going from the fact that they started as kind of like this war uniform all the way till today where it's this billboard of design that shows who you are as a human being. So let's come together and create t-shirts that are awesome. T-shirts that we can be proud of. Some of the simplest things about t-shirts is just to remember to kiss the t-shirt. And in design, kiss means to keep it simple stupid. Um, so make sure you're using simple designs. Also make sure you're having fun with it. Use bright colors or just make it very simplified in the colors and make it almost monochromatic. One color with a bunch of different tints and tones of it. Um, enjoy creating your t-shirts and let me know how I can help you out. I really am excited to see how your, your t-shirts turn out and I hope this history of t-shirt design has helped you get to know better the background behind what you're about to create.